Good evening. Today we continue our daily reading of the Word, coming from the book of Psalm, chapter 63. As always stated prior to reading, get to a church that has Sunday school or Bible study that can break the Word down and share it for you with you for an easier understanding. Also get with some friends who break bread and just share with one another and get an understanding from amongst them. Also get you a Bible. There are numerous versions to read, NIV to King James. Also call upon the Lord. If you knock at his door, he will fill you up with wisdom. Amen. Psalm chapter 63 reads as follows. You God are my God. Earnestly I seek you. I thirst for you. My whole being longs for you. In a dry and parched land where there is no water. I have seen you in the sanctuary and beheld your power and your glory. Because your love is better than life. My lips will glorify you. I will praise you as long as I live, and in your name I will lift up my hands. I will be fully satisfied as with the richest of foods. With singing lips my mouth will praise you. On my bed I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night because you are my help. I sing in the shadow of your wings. I cling to you. Your right hand upholds me. Those who want to kill me will be destroyed. They will go down to the depths of the earth. They will be given over to the sword and become food for jackals. But the king will rejoice in God, and who swear by God will glory in him, while the mouths of liars will be silenced. Psalm chapter 64. <clears throat> Hear me, my God, as I voice my complaint. Protect my life from the threat of the enemy. Hide me from the conspiracy of the wicked. From the plots of evildoers, they sharpen their tongues like swords and aim cruel words like deadly arrows. They shoot from ambush at the innocent. They shoot suddenly without fear. They encourage each other in evil plans. They talk about hiding their snares. They say, who will see it? They plot injustice and say, we have devised a perfect plan. Surely the human mind and heart is cunning. But God will shoot them with his arrows. They will suddenly be struck down. He will turn their own tongues against them and bring them to ruin. And who see them will shake their heads in scorn. All people will fear. They will proclaim the works of God and ponder what he has done. The righteous will rejoice in the Lord and take refuge in him. All the upright in heart will glory in him. Psalm chapter 65. Praise awaits you, our God in Zion. To you our vows will be fulfilled. You who answer prayer. To you all people will come. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Blessed are those you choose and bring near to live in your courts. We are filled with the good things of your house, of your holy temple. You answer us with awesome and righteous deeds, God our Savior. The hope of all the ends of the earth and the farthest seas, who formed the mountains by your power, having armed yourself with strength, who stilled the roaring of the seas, the roaring of their waves, and the turmoil of the nations. The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. While morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. You care for the land and water it, and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with water to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. You drench its furrows, furrows and level its ridges. You soften it with showers and bless its crops. You crown the year with your bounty, and your carts overflow with abundance. The grasslands of the wilderness overflow. The hills are clothed in the gladness with the gladness. The meadows are covered with flocks, and the valleys are mantled with grain. They shout for joy and sing. Amen.